here at the Washington Ballet with Christy Lindo, who is head of faculty, head of faculty, head among of, other things, <laughs> head of faculty of the Washington Ballet. If um, a child wants to work specifically, or a student wants to work specifically on some like, piece of ballet technique, say uh, turns or, or balances, I think it's important for them to bring Pilates into that um, understanding of ballet technique because they can, if they fully align, if they fully stack up their bones and muscles and use correct muscles, um, then I think that that makes the, the, the understanding of turning and, and and um, balancing, and basically a turn is a balance. So if you can break down exactly what a what a, a turn is or how to balance, I think including Pilates turns and and even equating Pilates into um, that idea of classical ballet at the bar, just taking a balance and passe energy. Whether you're talking about energy, you're just you know bones stacking on top of each other with the aid of muscles. Um, which is what Pilates does, I, I think that, that that really helps break down a component of classical ballet. Mm -hmm. And you know, now that you're mentioning this, I'm also thinking about efficiency, you know, not overworking, using mm -hmm. the right muscles, mm -hmm. um, relaxing the muscles that right. are preventing you from achieving right. that next step. Mm -hmm. I think that Pilates deals with that a lot too. And I think that that often kicks in after a little bit of learning Pilates that you start to get that it's not just about tightening That's and right. pulling together. And the same is true about ballet. You can't just grip, right. grip. I think Gripping. that's the word we all use. And that prevents you from right. going further or being, being flexible. It's great. That's a great point about that because um, we think that overuse or over kind of um, thinking about uh, a muscle too much is proper, but it's not. It's actually really learning to let go of certain muscles so other muscles can kick in, you know, and um, it is a release and it's a stabilization of one muscle and a mobilization of another muscle or, you know, bone or some um, neuroskeletal kind of uh, component of your body, whatever you're working on. But I think that that's a really valid, you know, not gripping and making sure that, um, you know, it's if your body's working efficiently. And I actually, that's what Pilates does. And when you look at a seasoned dancer who does Pilates, that's exactly what you see. You see an efficient product out there. And I think it has a lot to do with, um, you know, um, just energy transfer and making sure that they're not over, over gripping and over using and just kind of, um, just making a body that works holistically. You see that in seasoned dancers. You don't see that in students, which is what we try to work towards, you know, but um, my goal is to start that as early as I can and, and at least for them to understand, you know, what hundreds could do or what whatever, um, rolling up through the spine and learning to, to you know, release not grip and, and use this muscle and release this muscle and I think that's the beginning of working efficiently mm -hmm. so I think that's a great point that you that you come up with mm -hmm. sometimes when we are trying to fix alignment we are trying to fix it by telling ourselves oh I am bad I'm not <laughs> doing putting in work to hold myself properly right, right, right. but sometimes it's just about getting the right muscles fire when they are called upon to hold you in the place without mm -hmm. you thinking about it. So mm -hmm. I think Pilates does a lot of that too. Like you didn't even realize that some little area of That's your right. body was under firing. Therefore, you had that poor posture. That's and right. then you do certain exercises and suddenly those muscles are right. engaging properly and responding properly. Mm -hmm. And then you have that good posture without doing it. That's right, and that's the somatic of, of, um, of Pilates, is that it's the subtle, the subtle changes and the subtle differences that you finally, that kind of work into your everyday, that changes your technique or changes the way you stand or, you know, um, 
I think once those work into your system, then you get to move on to the other things, you know? So, so I think that's also very true. That's subtle work. <laughs>